What's up YouTube, it's uh, Jay from CB Outdoors. Um, just a little comparison of uh, two jackets that me and Paul have been wearing over the uh, last couple of months. Um, they're both made by uh, Tad Gear, a uh, triple org design um, out of uh, California, USA. Um, pretty well known in the uh, military market and the outdoor market over in the States. But they're quite rare over here because they're quite expensive. I don't think um, a lot of people actually bother importing them. Uh, Paul imported his um, one from uh, Triple Orb theirself, and I managed to get mine from the UK um, importer, which is uh, Henny Haynes. I'll put all the uh, links on the website, obviously, so you can have a little look at um, what Henny do. But Henny are really, really good if you need your uh, outdoor survival gear, knives, tactical stuff. They're the uh, the place to get it, really. But let's get into the jackets. Um, the black one on the left is my one. Um, that is the uh, stealth hoodie. Um, and the one on the right is Paul's, that's the Stealth Hoodie LT. Right, the difference is, um, the one on the left, the black one, that's their, their hoodie range, um, which is, they're both the same material. Um, they're both the Schlawler, Schlawler um, 300M material. And they both, but the difference is, the one on the left, the black one's the uh, soft shell, which has got the fleece lining. Um, the one on the right's a hard shell, so it's basically like for layering, really, like your uh, your Gore-Tex outer layer. And obviously, you layer up inside, and uh, obviously, you put your fleece underneath, and obviously, your base layer. Um, but yeah, basically, they're exactly the same cut, exactly the same finish. They've all, all got the um, the asymmetrical hoods. Um, they've got the Schlonger um, Sea Change uh, weatherproof membrane with uh, self-regulating climate control, um, four-way stretch, which is flexible technology, which obviously makes you helps you move and so you don't feel cramped. Obviously, when you're scaling things and obviously if you're out in the field, um, abrasion resistance, um, nylon face on the arms and obviously around the actual jacket they've got um, reinforced nylon pads which I'll show you that in a minute on the bed obviously when I uh, show you the individual jackets theirself um, and they're both an integral part of the uh, layering system um, right the defining features of the left hand one which is obviously fleece lined which it's uh, it's got YKK zippers um, and the Schlosier's uh, nano sphere uh, treatment which is basically water repellent, dirt repellent and obviously stain repellent. Um, it's a bit like your Scotch Guard really um, but obviously it's from the uh, that company. Um, the one on the left it is waterproof but it's not going to keep you waterproof in an actual monsoon so you're probably looking at light rain, at drizzle, um, not sustained downpours. It hasn't got um, the taped seams, it hasn't got the taped um, zippers like the uh, right hand one does um, but the difference is, is about £100 um, the LT, um, like I said, is designed to be used as a layering system so obviously you're designed to have a fleece underneath it and obviously your base layers and bits and pieces like that so it's a, a proper hard shell jacket like I said, the one on the left is a soft shell jacket um, but yeah, the one on the uh, left, the LT um, like I said, it's designed as a layering system jacket, it's a hard shell, so like a Gore-Tex outer layer. Um, fully taped seams um, with a waterproof barrier at every seams. Um, it's got the uh, Ac Riri Aqua Zips, which is, they're, they're shit hot zips to be quite honest, they're really really expensive for a bloody zip. Um, but obviously they keep the water at bay and obviously stop it perforating through the zips. Um, they've got the uh, uh, Schlosser uh, Free X Dry uh, Moisture Technology which obviously wicks the moisture away from your skin and expels it out of the actual jacket so it's obviously it's, a, it's an active membrane obviously it keeps you uh, keeps you nice and cool and keeps you to a medium level so obviously when you've got vigorous activity you ain't sweating in places where you didn't, don't want to be sweating it obviously releases the moisture out as well as obviously keeping rain and crap away from you and stop it coming out and it's also got the uh, cold back technology as well which reflects um, UV rays and obviously uh, stops you uh, baking in the sun. Um, but, but yeah, basically they're exactly the same. But one's designed as a, a, a hard shell, which is obviously the layering system, and one is a soft shell. But what I'll do is I'll pull them off the uh, the hangers, I'll whack them on the bed, and obviously I'll go through them individually, and you can see them individually and up close and personal. Right, as I said, this is my jacket. It's the uh, 
obviously the triple all design stealth like I said um, they're exactly the same between the LT and the um, the normal hoodie stealth jacket um, this one comes with the uh, YKK zippers which are obviously good quality um, it's fleece lined and obviously fully sealed inside as well comes with obviously garage um, openings for your uh, zippers and that it adds quite a few zippers because where it's a military dash tactical design um, but it like unlike other other jackets it's not like a tactical cut so you could wear it out normally as going out and things like that and obviously it wouldn't stand out a million miles that it was a, obviously a law enforcement dash um, armed forces tactical jacket it's got a very very nice cut on it that's what most of the triple org design gear it's got a dual purpose but it don't look overly tactical which is a nice nice look because i use this every day basically and it is great um, like i said it uses the uh, Schlugel, um, Schleiver, Schleiler um, times three um, membrane. Um, it's I think it's three seven five grams per per square meter. Um, it's fleece lined interior. It's got the uh, nanosphere treatment. Um, it's got the uh, sea change membrane, which obviously wickers the uh, lets the sweat obviously transition through the actual jacket and obviously stops um, obviously water and that on the outside obviously getting into the jacket so it keeps you at a nice obviously cool level. Um, it's a it's, got, it's a single single underarm panel so obviously this is one unit with your obligatory tactical pit zips to obviously keep you uh, keep you nice and cool and obviously get the uh, air out of the jacket when you. Uh, running and do other bits and pieces and a bit strenuous activity. There is two zips on the um, the arm on this side as you can see one right at the end like as a change um, you can put a small iPhone in there or something like that. I've used a Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 and it doesn't actually fit in this um, but to be quite honest it's a massive phone anyway uh, but your, your iPhones and things like that they would actually fit in this um, you've got another pocket up a little bit higher on the bicep um, which is a little bit bigger um, most of these pockets inside they have actually got a, um, a little pass through and they've also got a nice little feature as well they've got D-rings the two main pockets so obviously you can hook your keys in this one and this one's got a little pen holder in it as well that's the left, the, uh, left hand breast pocket and as far as I know, the uh, right hand breast pocket is exactly the same. Yeah, there you go, pen holder, and your pass through, and your D ring. There we go. Like I said, fleece in a lining, obviously vented fleece in the lining. Your garage zips. Nice little nifty feature with the uh, triple alts as well is the uh, the hoods. The hoods are like a form-fitting hood and they're designed to fit over helmets and obviously your, your assault helmet and things like that um, which is it's all fully fitted and it also has it, it's not a removable hood and it doesn't store inside the actual um, rib or the, the neckline so obviously it doesn't get thick and it, obviously anyone that's had a Berghaus jacket or something like that or most outdoors jackets obviously they've got a stowable hood and you can stow this one, it folds up at the back and obviously uh, velcros on because there's little velcro patches on the back there um, which does but obviously being not a stowable hood it's less bulky around the neck area and obviously it less rides up obviously when you're, uh, you're doing it up as well um, but it is designed as an outdoor jacket, it's quite high up in the neckline when obviously you pull it up it's right over your face and near the bottom of your nose as well so obviously you get a nice wind protection and obviously as you can see it's got the uh, pull cords and that so you can adjust it and obviously pull it tight towards your head um, on the right hand bicep there's only a single um, single uh, pocket on the right hand one um, which has your uh, your pass through for your cables and bits and pieces um, any other bad feature about these is they don't have any interior pockets or anything like that like your Condor um, which is basically a cheaper version of this well a lot cheaper version of this does have interior pockets uh, but the, uh, the, the tad gear ones don't have them um, on your arms you've got your uh, fully adjustable velcro and that's it basically that is the uh, the normal hoodie they retail at the moment in the UK about 380 pounds um, but when you get it and when you compare it to a burgas jacket or something like that you can tell 
um, tad gear, their anal about their seams being asymmetrical and obviously um, all neat and tidy. Obviously, I can't really show you on the camera because I can't get it in, in detail, but the stitching on this is sh and um, These are actually made in Canada. Um, there has been a bit of controversy with TAD at the moment, obviously that's outsourced some of their gear to uh, China and things like that, but this one's actually made in Canada, um, like the uh, Arctraex and things like that. Um, but yeah, this is the other one. Oh, another thing, on the back as well, you get some nice back pockets as well. You can obviously unzip and obviously put gear in the back, like a towel section. And these come in two models, they come in the patched which obviously they have patches on the um, the arm for your military people and obviously your tactical and obviously your law enforcement um, but the, the, this one is the non-patched one the LT that I'm going to show you in a second that is patched um, but I'll show you the difference in a second and they all come with the um, triple all design little uh, sticky um, morale patch at the bottom which you can actually buy different ones from uh, TAD anyway like I said I've had this hoodie for about what, two, three months now, something like that. And um, I've used it in the wind, rain, uh, in the uh, sleet. And we haven't had any snow down in Kent at the moment, so I haven't had a chance to use it. But it's been sometimes quite cold, down to about five degrees, three degrees down here. And we're right on the actual sea. And um, so it does get cold, so obviously the wind chill. And this does a very, very good job, obviously, just keeping all the crap away from you. Um, I've got it dirty a few times as well. And it just basically, I've got dirt on it and uh, crap from obviously being in the woods. And it just brushes off. Obviously, like I said, it's got a coating on it anyway. To obviously stop it getting uh, totally, totally dirty. Um, but from the reviews of the previous stealth jackets that they made from Tad, everything that Tad make, uh, top quality gear, and it's built to last, it's built like a bloody tank basically and um, they've got reinforced elbows and um, obviously in the places that need reinforcing they've reinforced it but what, if you buy one yourself yeah they're very expensive like I said they're about £380 from Henny's and the uh, the LT jacket is uh, about 470 480 if you can get one uh, they're really hard to get a hold of at the moment once Tad make them they seem to sell them out straight away um, but yeah I love the thing it is great if you've got the money and you're in the market for a soft shell or something like that, obviously, um, by all means, have a look at everything else. Like I said, Condor do make a, um, a version of this, but it's not as well built, but obviously you pay your money, you take your choice. I think the Condor jacket's about 80 quid, 90 quid, something like that. And uh, I think um, Hexicon, um, Hexi Hexicon or something like that, correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember, the, the Polish company, um, they do like a soft shell jacket and, and that, which is a lot cheaper, I think it's about £95, something like that from Henny, so obviously you take your, your pay your money, you take your choice really, um, but I like Tad Gear stuff, I think it's great, I, I think if, everything I've had before, I've had some Force 10 um, trousers, um, which I'm getting the new set of Force 10 in 2014 soon, um, so I'll do a review of them, um, my Force 10 trousers, I've had them for about four years, five years, something like that, and they are shit hot. Um, they still look as good as I bought them. Um, I can wash them once, get all the crap out of them, and um, they've, they've lasted basically. And I don't put through my gear for a lot of riggers, and obviously do use it. Um, I don't uh, swan about the, uh, the high street with it, or uh, swan about the supermarket with it. I use it in the woods, um, use it pigeon shooting, use it rough shooting through brambles and things like that so it does get a good old working and it does work perfectly okay but like I said thumbs up for me this is a great great jacket if you're in the market for one obviously do your research but yeah if you buy one you won't be disappointed definitely definitely won't be disappointed right I'll grab the um, the LT and obviously I'll show you the differences between this and the LT but quickly I'll show you the inside as well like I said fleece line jacket Obviously, uh, inside there is a little bit of a pocket there, but obviously I won't class that as a, a pocket really, because obviously it's just in the actual stitching itself. But they're all stitched in, like I said, YKK um, zippers. This one's a bit stiff, obviously, where it's brand new. Um, you're a bigotry uh, seam, M seam, so obviously you can tighten it down the bottom, stop the wind blowing up your back. There's your back pocket there, obviously what, what your uh, stuff goes in from the back. And there's all your cable pass-throughs and your pen point now. But yeah, another thing with the hood as well, it's got a little uh, flap on the top, so a bit like a baseball cap, 
which is pretty nice. Obviously, it keeps the uh, the wind out of your face and all that. And it's pretty nice. Yeah. This one is the uh, the black non-patched. Like I said, you can get them in a the patched. Um, this is the medium. The only thing I can say about the tag gear as well, obviously, I do a size and chart. Um, this one fits me. I'm about five foot seven, and about 140 pounds, something like that. No, probably about, probably about. I'm being modest. Probably about 160, 165, something like that. Um, so I'm not too big. Um, the medium length of me, obviously, um, the fit in the chest and the length obviously fits me perfectly okay, but it's, they're a little bit long in the, in the arms. Um, a lot of the tag gear comes up a little bit long in the arms, but it's nothing major. Obviously, you've got the uh, elastic cuffs and obviously the Velcro cuffs, so you can obviously adjust them. It's exactly the same with the uh, Stealth LT, and I've been reading reviews of the Ranger as well, because they do a cheaper version than this, which is the uh, the Ranger hoodie, basically, which is just a fleece lined hoodie. It hasn't got the, um, the Schleiber uh, coating on the outside. Um, I might buy one of them later, and you might see a review of them if I got bloody money I must admit they're still about 250 quid um, but but yeah they do come up a little bit of uh, long in the actual uh, arms but that's the only difference with uh, Tad but if you go on their uh, website there's a full uh, sizing guide which obviously gives you chest uh, lengths and uh, arm lengths and bits and pieces like that so obviously you can uh, uh, you can measure it out and obviously uh, pick one that you want this one is a medium in the black and that's it don't know what else I can say about it basically great jacket wicked um, Another little thing as well. It's got a little clip there for your um, your mic or your uh, if you've got a um, obviously a headset or anything like that for your tactical uh, military people. Um, got them on both sides, so obviously you can click it and keep the cables out of the way so they don't get stuck in your actual zips. I'll show them a bit closer to the camera. See it? It's a little um, bit of plastic which obviously uh, clip your cable with to keep them away from the zips so you don't obviously tag, tag them in your zips when you're opening them and closing it. Basically. But let me grab the uh, the LT and obviously I'll show you the differences and you can see what the differences are. Right YouTube, this is uh, Paul's uh, Stealth Hoodie LT. Um, like I said there's a tiny few differences where I obviously had them on the uh, the cupboard there and, and showed you. Um, but this one is predominantly a um, hard shell jacket. So it's designed obviously to be lightweight, uh, packable and foldable. Um, so obviously you can just pull it out of your pack and whack it on when the, it starts raining and it starts monsooning. Um, fully taped seams um, all the way around the uh, zippers and all that. It's got the um, re re uh, aqua zippers as well so obviously nothing actually gets into them and no water penetrates through and um, this one is the patch model if you're wondering whether the uh, the patches would sort of soak the water up obviously being velcro there's actually they've actually mounted um, some patches behind it and obviously fully seam fully uh, taped the actual seams behind it you can see it physically in the jacket and obviously where you fit it um, all the uh, garage doors for the zippers they're all uh, made out of obviously the uh, the Schlola uh, free uh, free layer, and um, the treatment on the outside of it is the uh, times free uh, uh, dry cold back uh, treatment, and it's also got the uh, sea change membrane. It's exactly the same as a normal hoodie. But like I said, this is the LT model, which is obviously just a layering soft shell. This is their top of the line um, stealth. Um, this is the one everyone wants by the looks of it, because uh, when they come into stock, they get sold out straight away. This is the green model. Um, I think the class is ME green, which is obviously your uh, slightly uh, slightly off green colour, your military green. Like I said, it is the um, the patch model, so obviously you get the patch on the uh, left and right hand bicep. Um, it is exactly the same cut wise, pocket wise, as the normal stealth hoodie, but obviously the difference in the weight and the material. Basically, it hasn't got a fleece lining. Um, it's also obviously got the roll up hood, the adjustable cinch cords, um, it, the, the, it's, the water, all the zippers on it are obviously fully waterproof anyway. They're all re re zippers, um, so obviously they're all uh, fully waterproof. Adjustable cuffs on the sides, uh, it's got the adjustable uh, drop hem, so obviously you can pull it tight and obviously uh, keep all the water out, stop it running down the back of your pants. Um, which is a nice little feature, but like I said, uh, the main difference is, is the um, it's exactly the same material. Uh, obviously, uh, the other one has got a uh, fleece in the lining, which is obviously designed to be a soft shell, um, but it's basically exactly the same, really. And you've got the um, little clips for your microphones and bits and pieces like that if you're using it for military or um, law enforcement. It's got the uh, two pockets on the side, like I said. Um, left hand side you've got one on the wrist which is 
you can probably put a change pocket basically and put your credit cards and probably fit an iPhone in there or something like that. Um, you've got your one just below the actual patch on the bicep pocket. Um, which is a little bit bigger and you can obviously keep other bits and pieces in there. You've got the patch itself which obviously takes a full military patch. Um, one gripe that Paul did say obviously where, the ta where it's, you have the patch version they put the, they put the um, their welder obviously another bit of the fabric underneath it to obviously stop the um, water running through the patch and obviously getting into your, your arm. Um, they are a bit hard to start with but he's saying once you've worn it about for a week, two weeks, something like that, maybe ten times, the patch does start to loosen up and obviously it feels a little bit better on your actual arm. But where these are obviously all taped we're inside and it's got a little bit stiffer than obviously the normal one, the, uh, the normal hoodie. But yeah, you've got your obligatory pit zips which are all waterproof and fully taped inside. Um, your inner lining is more of just like a uh, nylon cotton material. There you go, it's 77% um, it's 70, nylon, 17% polyurethane and 6% 6 per, 6 um, elastane. I don't know what that means, but there you go. Um, but the inner lining's got like a, it's, it's like an, a, a cotton lining basically, it's a nice cotton lining, so pretty good against your skin, it ain't like the outside shell obviously against your skin now, put a, def, a decent cotton lining, and all, all the lining as you can see is been taped, obviously heat welded into the actual jacket itself. Um, like the uh, normal style hoodie, exactly the same hood system. Not a rollable, styrable hood, but you can obviously just roll it back and push it back on the um, the Velcros. It actually has um, two little uh, Velcro latches on it, which I didn't show you on the other one actually, because we couldn't really see it. Um, but yeah, you've got two little Velcro patches, which is good for your night vision and bits and pieces like that, as far as I know for you uh, military and obviously tactical people. And I think it's got something to do with the, uh, the night vision attachments. But don't correct me, I haven't got a clue. Um, fully adjustable hood with uh, your pull strings. You can obviously pull it tight and obviously keep yourself out of the rain. And it's got exactly the same um, little uh, flap at the top as well. Obviously, like a baseball cap to obviously uh, keep the rain out of your face as well. This one's a large, falls a little bit taller than me. He's about six foot, something like that. And he said exactly the same as I did. Um, length, chest, perfectly okay. Um, but in the arms, it's a little bit long. But like I said, you can just adjust it with the Velcro cuffs. Um, that's it basically. I don't know what else I can say. Um, reinforced, you can see it a little bit better on this one. Um, you can see the patch that they've actually welded on to obviously reinforce the uh, the arms on the uh, the LT jacket. On the other one, you can't really see it because um, it's black. Obviously, you just can't see it. But yeah, like I said about my one, Paul totally totally loves this. He's got a. Um, a micro fleece which obviously goes underneath this which obviously uh, uses a layering system I think he uses under armour then he's got like a, a micro fleece and then he uses this obviously when he gets mega mega cold um, but even though it's so thin even though it's so light um, the material doesn't let any air well any wind through or anything like that so it's a good wind stopper um, and obviously being the uh, the Schlober three times dry material um, it doesn't let any water through or anything like that and you can use it in a bloody monsoon this is what the LT is designed for but yeah you've got exactly the same rear pockets obviously the big rear pocket with the two, two openings either side so obviously you can stow gear in there like gloves mainly I use mine for gloves and uh, maybe a hat or something like that or a bad climber um, so I know where it is straight away but yeah, the only difference really is um, in the, I don't think they've got the, uh, no, these ones ain't got the uh, the pen pocket in these. Obviously the pen pocket's made into the actual uh, fleece lined lining of the normal hoodie. These have only got the um, the normal cable pass-throughs and that, little wire cable pass-throughs. But they have got the D-rings both sides as well, so obviously you can attach your keys to it or anything like that. But yeah, this one's also made in uh, Canada. So people that are obviously knocking to have gear for making things in China, which I don't knock them, to be quite honest. I know they're really expensive, but to be quite honest, 90% of the gear that comes out nowadays is probably made in China. And they've probably got a lot better um, machining equipment than that to obviously make these jackets. They've been making them for years and years and years, so there's no knocking them. 
Um, they are expensive though, and you expect something to be made in obviously Canada, like this one is, or the, the States, uh, at something obviously of this price. But don't knock it. Um, some of the gear they make in China, like the Ranger, I think they make in China, and the Secret Service jacket. Um, I think that comes from China as well. They're just all equal in quality. At the end of the day, it's made for a company that are anal about their stitching and anal about their end products and quality. They don't send anything out that doesn't meet their stringent um, quality control checks, which are very, very stringent. Um, every year they sell off the gear that obviously doesn't meet their uh, standards and obviously you can buy it at a cheaper rate. But like I said, this is about £480, something like that. So it's expensive for a hard shell jacket. Obviously you can buy your normal hard shelf jackets from Berghaus and other well-known names um, for a slight, obviously about £200, £300. Um, but Paul's decided to pump for one of these because he's always wanted one. Like I've always wanted a stealth jacket as well. Um, and he wasn't he wasn't disappointed when he pulled it out of the packet. This one was imported from Tad Desself. Um, it costs a little bit more money obviously in, on importations, but like I said, I bought one from Henny's. Um, Henny's haven't actually got these on their site, but you, with Henny's you can basically email them and they'll try and get whatever you need. But they do they are the official importer for Tad Gear. But like I said, these are the holy grail of Tad Gear jackets. They're like rocking all shit at the moment. Um, they haven't got any on their website or anything like that, or they've only got them in ridiculous sizes. It seems they get these in stock and they sell out straight away. But yeah, only difference. Uh, quick summary: only differences between the LT and the uh, the stealth hoodie itself. The normal version is the fleece in the lining. The uh, normal stealth hoodie's not obviously got tape seams, and it's not got the uh, the Riwi uh, Riwi uh, Aquasafe uh, zippers. They all use the same Schlosser, um dry material, which is obviously is the outer coating. Um, you can have them in either patched or non-patched for your pe for your uh, tactical people. Um, but yeah, that's it. Anything you need to know? Obviously weights or anything like that. Obviously this is a, a hard shell, so it weighs a lot less than the soft shell because obviously the fleece lining just puts the plate up. Um, this is designed to be your more tactical thing where you throw it, like I said in the start of it, throw it in the pack and obviously uh, pull it out when you really, really need it. The other one's basically more of an everyday jacket to obviously keep you warm, keep the chill off, keep the rain off if it's obviously drizzling, and that's it. But yeah, if you've got any comments, obviously uh, hit me up in the comments, I'll try and accommodate you as much as I can. Um, if you like the video, obviously whack a like up. Um, if you've got any comments, obviously um, positive, negative, like I said, anything you need to know, give us a shout in the comments box and uh, we'll hit you back. Um, but that's it, YouTube. Thanks for that. Jay out. See you later.